Hello, welcome to part 29 of my Pokemon Sun Wonderlock. In the last episode, you guys, ooh, we had a bit of an up and down experience. Uh, it started off pretty rotten, honestly, but we ended on a bit of a high note. We evolved a Pokemon, we caught a Pokemon, and today we're going to Wonder Trade said Pokemon to begin. If you're not sure what a Wonderlock is and why I'm Wonder Trading a Pokemon we just caught, check the description. It's down at the bottom. The uh, All the rules are down there. Let's have a team recap, shall we? So, up first, we have Butterfree. Free! Who we received as a Caterpie back in episode 21 in exchange for a Diglett that we can't remove severed. Butterfree's coming at level 23 with Sleep Powder, Psybeam, Silverwind, and Gust. Next, we have Minior, the Elder Statesman of the team. We got all the way back in Root... Uh, not in Root. In episode 13 from a Lillipup that we caught on Route 4. Minior's coming to level 33, is an absolute MVP. And no, the Swift, Ancient Power, Rollout and Confuse Ray. I knew you were gonna be good when you turned out purple. That's, that's just all I have to say about that. Next we have Driller, the freshly evolved Alolan Dugtrio, level 26, right at the end of the last episode, literally for the catch, for the encounter, which was the last thing we did. Uh, Driller got the experience to evolve. Um, so it was beautiful. Uh, when did we get Driller? Obviously as a Diglett, uh, from a Fletchender that we caught on Route 8, and we've had Driller since, uh, since episode 23. Uh, Driller currently knows Mud Bomb, Sucker Punch, Magnitude, and Bulldoze. Next we have Nosferapti. No idea what that means, I might be saying something rude. I apologise if I am. <laughs> Excuse me, I also apologise for that. Uh, Nosferapti the Zubat, who is currently level 18. Um, who we got back in level, uh, in episode, why don't you say in level, or root, when I mean episode, in episode 25 in exchange for a Paris that we caught in the lush jungle. Uh, Nosferatu currently knows, absorb wing attack, confuse ray and bite. Next we have Machop, I can't read that name, I can't read Japanese, if anyone can, feel free to let me know in the comments. Um, we got Machop, that was dead recently, only back in episode 27, he's a little newbie. Um, and we got in, in exchange, wait him, yeah him, in exchange for a phantom, phantom that we caught in Memorial Hill. F Machop currently knows Seismic Toss, Revenge, Foresight and Low Sweep and he's level 20, in case I mention that. And we have Sally, the freshly caught Nose Pass, which we caught on the Akala outskirts and have yet to wonder trade. Uh, so it doesn't matter what level and what she has, but for the record that's a moveset, she's level 23. Now, we are immediately going to Wonder Trade. Sally away. And, uh, see what we get. I love the Festival Plaza music. It's an absolute banger. There we go. Take your time. Oh yep, yeah. choice is yours. Don't be late. Unless you want to, because you know, the choice is yours, I guess. Right, come on. Come on, game, let's go. Go. Wonder Trade. The Sally. Holding a magnet as well. You get a free magnet out of it. Enjoy. Enjoy. Whoever uh, whoever receives the Sally. I mean, if anyone, if anyone wants Sally, that is. Hey! Ah, I won't forgive you. Tate from the United States from Oregon, in fact. What's Tate sending me for a Sally the Nose Pass? A Pidgeot! Holy cow! Oh, is this going to be too high level, though? Oh, 
Oh my god, it's a Pidgeot. If this is like level 36, if this is like bare minimum, I'm very tempted. Holy heck! Otherwise, this is going in the uh, box with the other normal flying type we see, Noctowl, for being too high level. Uh, we need to have a look at this Pidgeot imme oh, immediately. 20 no That's an illegal Pidgeot. What the hell? How have you sent me a level 29 Pidgeot, Tate? You dodgy man. Well, it's a normal flying type. The moveset seems legal. Twister? Question mark? Twister seems dodgy, but other than that, the moveset seems legal. I'm going to use it. I don't care. This is the charm of a wonder lock, I guess. Although, doesn't it have to be legal to be... How have you got a level 29 Pidgeot? Can someone explain in the comments how we have a level 29 Pidgeot? But that is a team member. Oh, hell yeah. If anyone watching is or knows a Tate in Oregon, and you suspect, and they like Pokemon, and you suspect it could have been them, I'd love for you to put them in touch. I'd love to know how this has gone down. But uh, anyway, Pidgeot, level 29 with Steel Wing, Feather Dance, Twister, and Quick Attack. Okay! I am not upset. I mean, we've got an abundance of flying types again. Like, our electric and rock weakness is through the roof. Like, an ice to a slightly lesser degree because of Minio. But, sheesh. But still, that's some power. Okay, now. Can I have a gander at your map, please? What is around here? Like, I feel like... I feel like I'm taking a big risk. Keep going. Ooh. Oh, okay. There's a trainer there. Nice. Leech life. Ooh, that's decent in this gen. I wonder if Butterfree can learn it. Uh, you know what? We're, for now, we are going to... We're going to go back to the Pokemon Center and heal. And then come back out here. I feel like that's a good play. Oh, I... Didn't need to fly there. Oh, well. We'll run the rest of the way. That's a, that's a way to start an episode, my guys. A Pidgeot. An illegal Pidgeot, as far as I know. I might be wrong. I may very well be wrong. I would not be massively surprised if I am wrong. Okay. So it was like through Memorial Hill, right? And you go through the little maze. Around the glass, darling, the glass. Oh. Through this encounter. I can't believe we got a Pidgeot. I can't believe we just ran into a Zubat during the day in the outside. What's up with that? How weak is Zubat? Ooh, not that weak. Oh, heck, that's super effective. How weak is Butterfree? Pretty weak. Oh, no. No, don't do that. That's annoying. Oh, Heck and gosh darn. <laughs> huh. Yeah, mini R. Rock type. Why was I deliberating that so much? Probably gonna use wing attack again. 
which means, uh, oh, use bite. Oh, you wascally wabby. Ah, oh, that one used bite. Alright, so we weak roll out the weak one. And then we double power roll out the full health one in a second. Can't touch this. Bow, 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 bow. Bow, bow. Bow, bow. Boom. I should have stocked up on potions. <laughs> Whoopsie! Okay. Right. We out of there. Okay, there's a Zygarde cell up there on like the shortcut back. Okay, so you're a fisherman. So you're probably going to use water types. That's a problem. You know what? Could you... Time for you to debut. We haven't really got an answer for water types. We had a Pichu! I fish when I think I can catch something. I battle when I think I can win. Seems you're wrong on two counts then, mate. Oh, got him! Fisherman Vernon. Vernon? Gear? Yeah. Okay, well I got the uh, the water type prediction right. I'm shocked. Not a lot of stab. Like, where's my where's my good flying type? Oh, well, that's pants. Oh, oh! The grass type, you say? You jammy git! That's not an attacking move, is it, Feather Dance? God, if this would have been a normal Pidgeot, I'd have killed it in one when it turned into the grass type. Ooh! Oh, it flinched! Oh, Twister can flinch. Cool. I learned something today. By the way, uh, I've, I know I've got like 10 plus minutes into the episode uh, with, before I said this. Wait, go on my chop. That's not what it was. Ooh, knock off, sure. Um, ooh, let's have a look. Uh, but apologies for there being no episode yesterday. Just literally ran out of time. Like nothing more to it than that. I just struggled for time yesterday. Right, so it's the same power, but no stab. Mm. I think I'm just going to get rid of Foresight. I, I, last episode, I, I think it was last episode, or the last time I jumped so I'd learn to move. I kept Foresight in case it came in useful. Hello? But, uh, I know, I know, weak to water, but got shields down, deactivated, and I've got rock time moves. It's gonna intimidate, isn't it? Yeah, so I'm gonna be using ancient power. I was deliberating which one I'd use. That's just decided it for me, I'm pretty sure. Faster? Oh yeah, Gavados isn't that fast. I always imagine Gavados is quite fast, but it's not. Nice. Oh! Hell yeah. Oh, Thrash. Oh, we did not need the stat boost. <laughs> oh, it's on level 23. It probably doesn't have a, a water type move yet. Well, get that. Waste of ancient power boosts, but oh well. Nice. Go on then, Nosferatu. Ooh, air cutter. What's better? Special and it's base 60. Oh, it's physical and it's base 60. Ah, oh, heck. More likely to crit, but 5% chance to miss. I'm gonna say let's stick with wing attack. I have a feeling Zubat's probably physical, 
but also just that the chance of getting a crit even boosted is less than 5%, I would think, right? Would have been nice if I could have won, but just by thinking I could win. Yeah, it'd be nice if I could be rich just by thinking I was as well. What are you on about? Right, so I picked up the thing down there. Very good, very good. Alright. Oh. Key yaw. Key yaw. It's a very nice uh, basic form one there. I hope this is a good move. Oh, he's only uh, he's only 19, no. No, let's... Oh, but Butterfree's... Right, I think we're going to go heal. Again. And I'll buy some healing things this time. How's that? Is that fair? And then, yeah, we'll, we'll use Butterfree. Like, a... A flying type, as much as we've got a load of flying types, is still kind of sketchy for us. It's weird. Just because our flying types aren't, like, the strongest, especially defensively at the moment. Like, they're not very high level, and they're not particularly strong defensive Pokemon, so... Look at that team! Imagine when it's, like, a Crobat. Oh, and it, it'll be a Machoke. Oh, I, oh, I wonder if I'll be a, I might see if I can find someone to trade with me. Oh. Okay. Nice. Uh, yeah, I'd like to buy... I don't think I need Hyper Potions in general. I mean, at some point I'm going to need Hyper Potions, so let's, let's not be too silly. Let's buy half of that. <laughs> that's pretty silly, right? But I'm not going to run out, and that's like the goal. And we're not spending money, are we, exactly? So, like, in, in general in the game, we've not been spending a lot of money. I wish there was, like, a, a fly point out on the route so I don't have to keep going through uh, this damn maze. Not this particular difficult, it's just annoying. Also, the hedges are like so low, I could easily jump that if they were that height relative to me. Like, even if you couldn't just clean jump it, you could put your hands on it. Oh, I mean, it doesn't matter what the encounters can be, it doesn't because... You know, I'd be trading that way anyway, but that'd, be, that'd still be a cool encounter. Oh, it's faster! Oh my god! Oh, I've got super potions now, it doesn't matter. I was going to say I'm going to have to go and heal again, but no, I, I just bought 50 super potions. ADHD! Yay! Go to sleep. If this one shots, I'm, well, it won't, doesn't matter, does it? this one shots it one shots it I still would have taken the damage because I'm still slower. Yeah, okay. Good to know. Good to know for future reference. Doesn't one shot the zoo bats here, does one shot the gaslers. Go on then my chop. Yeah, what was I thinking? Oh yeah, I, I was thinking imagine like my team when I've got like a crowbat and a machoke, but hopefully I'll be able to find someone to trade that into a machamp for me. Um Pidgeot, Minyar Butterfree and and uh, Duke Trio. That's not a bad team. It's not particularly balanced, but we are doing a wonder walk. You know, there's only so much you can do. We do not be doing the miracles. How do I? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Even though it's only taken 22 damage, I just want to start on full. So. Hey buddy, what you doing? Good morning. Oh, wait, sorry. Good morning. Morning for short. Okay. Good talk. <laughs> I've never heard that idiom before, so I'm glad you introduced me to it. Must be a rare one exclusive to Alola. 
I don't think anyone ever just says morning, do they? Everyone formally says good morning every time they meet in the uh, in the morning. Oh heck! Sleep? Hell yeah! At least we get a turn to gauge the damage. Well, actually, we might not. It might just wake up and attack back anyway. Hopefully, we get a turn to gauge the damage of a side beam. Oh, heck. Okay, that's good. That's good that it's still asleep, because that's not that much damage. <laughs> if you could stay asleep for one more turn, that would be just tremendous, honestly. Oh, okay. That's helpful. Okay, come on, come on. God damn it. Oh, okay. You know what? No, I'll take that. Oh. It's faster, right? So this is going to be super powerful. But does Machop live a hit from Harry Armor? Like, what's my defense like? Thirty-one and twenty-three. That's pretty poor, right? I think I... Um, I don't even need a base of 120 attack, do I? Oh, you know what, that's... Oh, it might hit itself. Hit yourself. No! Ooh! Well, base 120 power move. Hell yeah! Oh my god, thank you for living that much up. I apologize for putting you through that. <laughs> hey, have a level. They both get levels, they both earn those levels to be fair. Safeguard? Hell nah! Oh, another level, nice! Oh my god. Played that battle well. GG for sure. I'm, I'm just a... Millennial on the internet, I've never heard that one either. This guy's so down with the kids. So cool. So, sounds about that much up. <laughs> he's got 69 HP though. Nice. I mean, total. He hasn't currently got 69, he's got 68. Because I'm not spending a, <laughs> a super potion to give him 1 HP. That's suspicious, isn't it? Over there. No? Huh. Oh, heck. I got... I got j j j j j Oh, hello. I think we used to have one of you. Or was it an encounter? According to my notes, none of the oh no we ah we got a young goose that we traded for another old meowth that died like I don't even know when it was just it was just got dead next to it <laughs> usually I put when but this one's just dead okay that's a problem oh no no you know what no it's not actually because we can just use one turn to put it to sleep one turn to switch in the chop and then wait for it to unleash energy, then kick it in the head. But if it doesn't attack here, we might be in trouble. Oh yeah, it's asleep as well. I guess we're just... Molly whop it, right? It's faster than us, that's worth noting. Ooh, maybe it's not. No, it is. Okay, so put it sleep. Disabled Bide, or Bide ran out while it was asleep, or whatever. But it works. Sit down. We could have lost Machop there, I didn't know that mechanic worked. <laughs> that's twice I've risked Machop. I don't know why I'm doing it. I love Machamp. I love Machop, to be honest. Fun fact, Machop was my first ever Pokemon card. A friend at high school gave it to me. Just a Machop. 
no energies, couldn't use it, but, you know, I had a Pokemon card. I felt included. It was lovely. Um, what was your first ever Pokemon card? Let me know in the, des in the description, in the comments. Ruins of Life. Did I just miss this on Moon? I don't remember coming here on my Moon Let's Play. Is this actual grass where I can get an encounter? Or is it just decorative grass? I think it might just be decorative, right? Yeah, it's looking decorative to me. It's looking mighty decorative. Okay, let's just go inside. Oh. So it's a strength puzzle. So, yeah, we don't need to be here yet. We do not need to be here yet. I'm actually going to go back to Memorial Hill because there's some stuff on Route 9 we've not done yet as well. We haven't explored this police station. So let's do that. Because again, I don't remember. Oh, maybe I did. Oh. Hello? Can I, can, I, can I talk to you? Let me talk to you. Ooh, I think I am. LA, LA Knight? Ah! If it's not urgent, could you come back later? Sorry, but I'm on my break right now. Okay, I'll just rob the police station instead. If you ever get lost, just check the town map. I depend on it regularly. Um, I read that there's a fight in here. Where is the fight in here? Or is it not that there's a fight in here, but you come back after each fight? I thought the first... Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Google! Um, Pokemon Sun Route 9 Police Station. Alola Route 9. Oh, in Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, not in Sun and Moon. Well then, never mind, I should have read that properly, shouldn't I? That was me thinking I was being clever, checking out the police station. Okay, so we have gotten a great trade today, and we've explored the rest of the Akala outskirts up until the point that we can. But I think I'm just going to leave that here for now. I know that wasn't like the most productive episode we've ever had. But in the next episode, in part 30, we're going to uh, explore, is, what is it, Kony Kony City, I think it's called? Something like that. We're going to explore this city behind me right now. So, um, yeah, make sure you subscribe if you're new here so you don't miss that. Leave a like if you enjoyed today's episode. Um, share with your friends if you think you know anyone who would enjoy. But for now, all I have left to say is thank you very much for watching. As always, I've been Ibeza, you've been amazing, and I will see you next time.